Nat 20. Welcome back to Deal with Demons, where in our previous episode, uh, Aelrindal got engulfed by a gelatinous cube and ended up dying. Yay! And Yay. then we the rest of We weren't that <laughs> attached, yeah. <laughs> And then Lazarus and Farron ended up killing the gelatinous cube. Blaze ended up uh, exploring more of the home and looting what he could from the bandit's rooms. Punch my way to treasure. Uh, Once again, for this episode, Duncan was not able to record, so he's just, as an NPC, (laughs) just looking and creeping in through the window. (laughs) Once again, for this episode, I'd like to thank our sponsors. (laughs) Duncan, who's not here. You didn't sponsor anything. <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't believe it's not better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, we'll start with... Elrindel. Mm. So, you're in this kind of void. You see some darkness behind yeah. you, and bright light in front of you, yeah. and it's actually hard to tell which way is up. Okay. We just I, assume that since you're walking, this way is probably up. Okay, I, uh, I'm i just going to approach the light, because why not? Okay. you got nothing better to do. Yeah, so you walk more and more and more, and it takes quite a while to get there. But then you reach the brightest point, and it's almost blinding, so you kind of have to shut your eyes as you walk forward. Then as you walk past it, you actually see the town of Ike. Mm. And it's like from above. Mm. And then as if you walk further on, it kind of zooms in more and more and more. And the further you go, the more it zooms into where your body is. And do you see in real time? So you actually see these guys have just... I'm looting your body. Um, Let's see. Yeah, you see Lazarus <laughs> looting your body. That bastard. <laughs> um, I guess I'm just gonna, like, I'm gonna get as close as I can. Like, if I keep okay. walking, am I just gonna eventually, like, like be, like, super zoomed into, like, my body? Yeah. If I just keep walking, will I eventually just be back in my body? Is that how that works? Or is I'm just zooming in? It's like Google Maps. <laughs> is that what's it's, happening? It's kind of like Google Maps, Street yeah. View. <laughs> um... Because okay. you do know that it takes a while for you to actually yeah. become reincarnated. Um, I guess I'll just watch them for now. I I, I don't know. Um, if I like walk back and zoom out more yeah. uh, of I can I view other places on the map as well, or is it just or uh so map or the world? When you first saw past the light, you were able to see the entire town of Ite and the, probably a kilometer pass on every side so you believe that if you walk to the left or right from there you could actually go to the other places i want to watch these guys for a little bit longer okay see if they loot me anymore okay <laughs> um <laughs> hopefully they don't and you don't seem to have any impact on anything that happens there yeah i'm Damn. digging you a grave right now so I'm... <laughs> awesome <laughs> Uh, so, what are you guys doing? You're starting to dig a grave? Dig yeah, a grave for him, yeah. I don't have any tools, so I'm using my hands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I have a walking staff on me, so I'm going to try to, like, pick at the ground, try okay. to help him out. Okay, uh, it takes a while, but eventually you are able to make a grave. And, Blaze, are you walking down the tunnel to them? No. No? What else is on the main floor? Oh, yeah, uh... There's the living room which you were in, there's the kitchen, uh, there's a storage room, and a cellar. Okay, I'll go to the storage room. Okay. Uh, in the storage room, you just see a lot of gear for adventuring. So, like, a lot of harnesses for horses, or a few decent swords or weapons, a uh, tent, some packs, explorer's packs, stuff like that. Uh, nothing really catches your eye, especially. Uh, do we have a tent? I don't think so. Take the tent. We do now. I also take all the explorer packs, so then I have, like, a bunch of shit. Yeah, you have, like, four explorer packs. Nice. 
Okay, and then I will uh, make my way to the cellar. Okay. This just seems like a regular cellar to you, so just food, provisions, wine, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, and that's all it's on the main floor? Yeah. Okay, I'll make my way to the bookcase. Okay. To the room. And okay. since no one is there, I'm going to start collecting those paintings that were piled up, and I'm going to start hiding them in... The paintings were brought down to the... Oh, he took all of them down. down. Yeah, I threw them on the hole there. I took as many as I could. Okay, yeah. is there anything else? Like... <laughs> statues? Just, pretty much just important. statues. Just statues? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking... Oh, I'm oh, surrounded by a bunch so of assholes. If I, like, took the paintings with me, and then I got swallowed up by... Were you carrying, like, 20 would, paintings? Well, I carried as much as I could from the hole, so I don't know how many I could carry. Probably, like, seven or them. I don't know if they're, like... I don't know, depending on how big they I, were. You probably would have let go of the paintings as soon as you saw we're starting to fight. So. I, I so, but they're still there. Yeah, though. so I guess you guys do see paint some of the paintings. Just... <laughs> on the way out. I'm uh, going to take one of the paintings and use it as like a uh, grave marker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's to... your intelligence? <laughs> Ten. <laughs> okay, this is fair. I'm going to take one of the bones from the gelatinous cube and use it as like a a prop, and then just have the painting. Okay. <laughs> like, what's on the painting? Is it at least symbolic? It's a chicken coop. I'll roll to see how symbolic it is. I did not think you said symbolic. Uh, <laughs> I think I said. Nope. <laughs> oh, I don't... I don't know what word you're thinking of. Oh, yeah. So, this doesn't... This seems kind of out of place as a grave marker, because this and all it is is a, a painting of a ship on the East Seas. Uh, there You see that there are a few orcas just jumping out, or no, not orcas, <laughs> dolphins jumping out of the water uh, behind the ship. The ship has one of the uh, statue things at the start, at the front Figure of the ship. Head. Figureheads, yes. Yeah. This one is of a mermaid. That's I see that pretty symbolic. Okay. <laughs> my last day, my last ride. Well, there so there's no just statues then. All the paintings are downstairs. I think so. Yeah. 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 If they're not if they're not up there, I checked them in the hole. So I was okay. gonna take the so I was no, gonna take them out. No trinkets. No th- okay, I'll just drop down then. <laughs> okay. It's fucking idiots. Okay. Uh, and I'll start making my way. I'll follow their footsteps. Okay, uh, you do hear like the I get roll a perception check as you walk. Five, sixteen. Sixteen. You heard the sounds of digging coming from up ahead. I knew it. There's no exit down here now. They're trying to fucking dig their way out. <laughs> These guys are as dumb as rocks. Yeah, I come into the room. Yeah, I'll just I'll walk in. Okay, I'm not yeah. really concerned. Yeah, so you go through this hallway and you you do see a door at the end of this hallway. And it's opened, and you see pretty much a wall of shrubbery or growth in front of it. It has been disturbed, so you do see that there are some holes you can see through and stuff like that. I'll walk through. Okay, you walk through, and you see these two digging a hole, and Aelrondal on the ground. Uh, gelatinous cube pieces and bits all around. Do I recognize the gelatinous cube pieces? Some skeletal bits and some tarnished sword shields. Yeah, you. Uh, I think you'd easily be able to tell that it's from a gelatinous cube. Okay, because if it wasn't there, that would look very bad. As you're dragging the body into the underground, yeah. it's just what like, you, it's not happened? what it looks like. <laughs> what happened? What He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> it was his time. <laughs> I, I walk up to him like, shh. <laughs> Slap his hand away. Don't touch me. What? Don't, don't mourn him. <laughs> I look at the like, painting. I'm like, that's not a, that's not a gravestone marker. That's a painting. What do you? We need to know where his body is. You do recognize this as a priceless <laughs> painting from Summer Sale. <laughs> I walk over. I pick it up. <laughs> oh, a, uh... Desecrating graves now. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a 
I'm uh, not a historical figure. You can't just use it as a marker for some dead revenant corpse. Oh, and I, I see it. <laughs> I, I, I see all the time. I, I shout at him like, hey, that's my gravestone. <laughs> like, hey, um, I'm surrounded by fucking idiots. <laughs> as he grabs that painting, I move over and grab one of the other ones and I replace it. I would know that he's going to reanimate, right? Uh, roll a history check. When I, his body gets close up to the grave, I'm just going to take my foot and I... Okay. Uh, 16. <laughs> Push him in there. Yeah, uh, you've learned about revenants and you know that they come back to life unless, until they have, until a year has gone past or until they have finished their objective. Okay. Um, why are you burying him? He's going to come back in a day. I don't want other people to find him. Who's going to come down here? Well, you never know. We kill the people who live here. Someone, a little child, maybe. Okay. Uh, Someone who's possibly 17 as well. Maybe a girl. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Listen, why are we... I think it's best to wait here and find out. I mean, we don't need to make a grave for stone marker if he's not even actually dead. So... I don't What's, know, he looks yeah, pretty dead if, to me. Yeah, but he's gonna come back. Yeah, but what if someone finds him and takes his body? Okay, away? cover his body, but let's take the paintings out of here. Yeah, that's why I'm burying him. Jesus, I don't care about the paintings. Take the paintings out of here. Okay, I'll take the paintings. He's the one that had the weird paint uh, fetish. I'm so done with today. I'm gonna <laughs> start stacking the paintings up. I'm gonna put them under my arm, and I'm just gonna make my way back to the other main cave entrance and stack those paintings together. And I don't know how I'm gonna roll these out here, but I plan on getting them back to outside to the authorities. Okay. I make sure that you leave at least one. <laughs> I leave one unnecessarily. I don't know why you want me. Why do you want me to leave it here? It's pointless. It has no purpose. If we leave an unmarked grave, you know that's that's bad mojo. <laughs> <laughs> bad mojo. Fuck it. I'm fine. You can have the, the the shit painting, okay? But we're coming back to get it when he comes if you, back. If you leave an unmarked grave, he's not going to come back as a revenant. It's going to be something much, much worse. <laughs> That's not true at all, though. How do you know that? <laughs> you superstitious bastard! <laughs> I put, I prop. What's the cheap, the, the the most unimportant painting? I'll put that one up. Yes. Uh, painting cheapest of, or like the most unimportant, unhistorical, the the, the lamest of them. Mo- a painting of a fucking goldfish or something. Okay. Mm. Like. <laughs> what do you mean? Lamest this is, looking or like the least expensive one. ugliest one? Because ugly ones could be worth a lot. The one that is. The least expensive. Okay. Uh, so, I think that fits him perfectly. <laughs> so there's this painting that you recognize as from an artist from Chun. And you personally don't think... Well, it's up to you, but <laughs> most people don't really care much for his art. There are a few people who would pay a lot for his art. Those people are called idiots. Is this a Van Gogh painting? <laughs> uh, so <Hot> this topic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this painting is of the lake near Chun, and on it you see a. Uh, you see a bunch of Ko- Koatoa on the shoreline, just smiling <laughs> and waving. Yeah, <laughs> three of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll leave that one as his okay. trademark. This fits him perfectly. He's always smiling. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm going to stack up the rest of the paintings. Let's go get some, like, guards or something and tell them about this place so we can get all this stuff back to where it belongs. No, they might find the body. Yeah. You buried it, didn't you? Well, yeah, but it's a shallow grave. I don't exactly Okay, so we take everything back upstairs. We hide this little secret room, leave his body down there, come get his authorities, give them this stuff, come back tomorrow morning, pick up his now living body... And then we'll go to the wizard. We do gonna we're gonna need another gelatinous cube. Why? Well that's how they hit it the first time. No, they hit it with the walls and the the hidden crack I stop him. <laughs> Big damn it ah. Listen, just give me a hand pulling the paintings up. We'll cover up the floor, we'll make sure no one finds the secret entrance. How 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 do we take everything out of the library room, push the door closed, hide the hole, no one will think to open the fucking library door thing, and then we'll just call the day. You just hit a minor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look the other shrubberies, see if there's another way out of this place. <laughs> Yeah, so as you go further through the shrubbery, you do notice that this is on the outskirts of the town now. Okay. 
You know that this isn't the only way to get to this place. There's another path. Oh, it's called a secret path for a reason. No, I spread the shrubs like, look. <laughs> okay. What are the odds that someone's going to find it? I mean, we don't know. It could be high, it could be low. It's definitely low. No one makes a secret room with a secret passage, and it makes it obvious for people to find it. I mean, prob- people probably didn't find it because of the gelatinous cube. That's not there anymore. No, the gelatinous cube doesn't hide an entrance. It just protects it in case someone does. That's a good point. But say someone finds it, there's nothing to protect his body. You're really playing the stupid in this guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen, trust me. Let's, please, for the love of fucking any god out there, just leave him here. We can get the authorities after he comes back to life. Does that make you feel better? We'll wait a day and then wait, we'll wait, get wait, authorities. all this coming back to life talk? He's, He's a revenant. He's dead. Yeah, and he'll be reanimated until he finds revenge. That's how it works. Yeah. The word revenant means bringer of revenge, essentially. It's pretty cool. Have you ever seen that Leonardo DiCaprio movie? <laughs> <laughs> Roll a uh, intelligent saving throw. Oh, come on! <laughs> uh, saving throw? Yeah. Uh, 18. The, fun, fourth, the okay. fourth wall break fucks with your mind. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, either way, they're not gonna... I, I start clicking the paintings anyway. And I bring it back. I'm going to move all the skeletons onto the shallow grave. Okay. I'm going to attempt to hide it. <laughs> so he's going to come back in this body right here. Yeah, so we'll... Sorry. Yeah, so we'll come back in the morning and we'll pick him up. And give him his stuff back because I noticed he's missing a lot of things. Hold on, I see an opportunity here. I'm going to take, his, gonna gonna take his body out of the, the hole. I'm just going to put it in a funny position. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will, uh, uh, I'm going to put him up against the wall. I'm going to turn him upside down. I'm just going to have his legs, like, flopping over to his head. <laughs> and that's how he's going to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I'm watching. Yeah, yeah you remember see all of this you, happening. You just remember, you don't remember this stuff when you wake up, though. <laughs> oh, he doesn't. Um, Last time he did, he didn't. They did this cattle is, on me. This is a different. Okay, it's a different place. We'll see. Yeah, it's yeah. not the first time I died. Exactly. That's when I like. When the, that's when I like became a revenant. This is just yeah. like me still a revenant. Okay. So. This isn't the afterlife. Okay. Whatever. Just in a moment. Of- I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this time I'm the innocent one. Um, I'm gonna collect the. Let's speed this up. I'm gonna collect the paintings. I'm gonna bring them upstairs. That's my whole goal. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Like back into the secret room. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll follow him. After my funny okay. position, I'll do that, too. Okay. And then I'm going to just neatly organize everything back, and then I'm going to suggest that we just seal it off, come back tomorrow, and then we'll look we'll the authorities after he's alive. Right before I leave, though, when they go, I'm just going to take the crown out and put it between his legs. And he's going to sit on his nads. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm going to join them. It's the crown okay. jewels. <laughs> I guess I wouldn't see him do that, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. Okay. I just... All right. Once we close the bookcase, I'm going to grab a couple books to try and cover up the hole. Okay. Hey, you guys want to see some shit I got? Let's go find someone who can tell me what these items do. I found a shirt. Oh, I know what that does. It's a magical shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and I found a coat made of unicorn hair. And that's it. Why would you kill a unicorn? I did it. I found a coat in one of the chests upstairs. Do you know what these items do? No, that's why I said let's go find someone who tell me what these things will do. Oh. Mm, you, okay. Usually you're the one that knows what these things do. I know a lot, but necklace. I don't know anything about these. Oh, shit, that's right. I don't know anything about these. I, I thought I might, but um, stop me. I may be young, <laughs> young, but can I see some of those items? Sure, I'll give him the shirt that seems magical, and I'll give him the unicorn coat. Okay. Shirt. Uh, yeah, the chainmail, right? Yeah, the chainmail shirt. Okay. Uh, I don't so... think it's mithril, but it seems like it has some magical properties. Well, let me see if I know a thing or two. Yeah, so this uh, chainmail shirt will give you... 
Uh, oh, yeah, actually, roll for it, please. So roll in our cannon check. Thank you, that. Clayton. Ooh. That's a six. Does the necklace give you advantage or just give you a plus? I think it's advantage. What's the necklace I have? Well, either way, you, you add the your necklace. Account. It is a necklace you stole while in Summer Sale. Right. Yeah, I think it gives an advantage. It gives me advantage. Yeah, and you yeah. definitely okay, add, it's, not, it's not just a six, you add your arcana. <laughs> Don't forget to do that. All right. Because you, I think you have really good, like better than me. Because I'm plus seven. Did I even roll arcana and I think about it? I think I just grabbed them. Yeah. Okay. No, my arcana's not as good as yours. Mine's only um, plus four. Should I roll as well then? Or can I... um, if you want, you could. I'll try. So I'm rolling with advantage. I rolled a yeah. 21. Oh, oh God. Uh, Do we that one in an eight? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> 12? <laughs> yeah, so you're not able to actually figure out what this shirt is. Useless. What did you get? 21. Uh, you sense that... You sense that this seems to be armor that protects you from something specifically more than normal armor would. Do I know what the thing is? No. Okay, I whisper that to, to Farron and I say, okay, you can tell him. You tell him what it is. What is it? I, I tell him. It, I tell him it, it protects you. It's a certain damage protection. And then I, I, now, make, now it looks like you know and I didn't, but yeah. I can stand there watching them whisper to each other. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what is it? Uh... It pr- it gives extra protection against a certain kind of damage. Oh, okay. And then specific, the is specific damage. Interesting. Uh, you don't know that yet. I don't know that yet. Right. And then I also pull up the but I have the unicorn <laughs> coat. Okay. I rolled a twenty-two. Oh yeah. It's a unicorn. Twenty-two as well. Okay. Uh, both of you realize that this will give you advantage against being charmed. Oh, sick. Uh, who wants them? I have no no real use. If I wear armor, it affects my monk. I would, you know, I would love a coat. I would this coat it. is not armor. No, but I'm talking about the chainmail. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, the chainmail I can't wear because it affects my monk stuff, so. Does anyone want the uh, chainmail? Yeah, sure, I'll take chainmail. If you don't want the coat, I'll take the coat. Or if you want the coat, I'll take the chainmail. Uh... I kind of, I don't know, I'm not wearing a fancy coat, right? Or cloak? I don't really want it, though. No, I don't want the coat either. Yeah, I give them both. I took what I wanted. I took the 700 gold pieces, gems, the boots of flying. You gave me both? I I just put them down the floor. I'm like, fight over them! And I step back. I take the coat. You also didn't actually check what the boots do. Uh, I'll do that. As they're talking about those two, I'll step back and I'll look at my boots. Okay, just another can of check. Chainmail is actual armor. Yeah. (sighs) That's even better. uh... Um, that's 24. You know that these are boots of levitation, not boots of flight. <sighs> Still good, though. Is it heavy armor chain mail, or is it a chain shirt? Chain shirt. Okay. So what does the boots of levitation do? Uh, it allows you to pretty much cast levitate on yourself once per day. How long does it last for? Uh, one hour or until you cancel it. Okay, cool. Nice, I got a sweet coat now. I mean, I already have a breastplate that gives me better AC. Ryan has mithril. Why don't we, ah, why don't we save the chainmail for, uh, Elondil over there? Well, he's dead. I could take the chainmail. Well, it's just, he died. When he wakes up, it'd be nice to give him something to make him feel a little better about it. Can All you right. ride the chainmail? Tell you what. Yeah, that's a good question. It's medium armor. It's medium armor? Sorcerers shouldn't be able to wear any armor. I don't think I can, uh, or you're not proficient, so it'll no. just yeah, like, no. give you disadvantages and shit. I can't wear any armor. Okay. Yeah, let's save it for earlier, though. He wakes up, it'll be a nice welcome back to life present. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, yeah, we, get, we, we should go. probably hide the bodies and head out. I turn one body into a chair. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I think we'll just hide the bodies in the library room. Yeah, right? I'm going to open okay. up the library room library room and just chuck them down the stairs okay <laughs> okay yeah and then uh i guess uh before i forget i would like to purchase a tinker's kit uh lock picks and a well i'm gonna sell them these gems first actually and i'll use that money to buy a tinker's kit and a lock pick set 
Okay, I'll show you, like, all of the shops that there are. Don't read under the shops. It's the back of the page sheet, but don't read more than that, please. Uh, so, Elrindal, Elrindal, is there yes. anything else you want to look at while in this? Um, well, actually, I want to see... Because, like, would I still know where Artemis is, like, from this limbo type? Uh, you remember the sense of where he was from before. You don't feel that sense right now, actually. Okay, because he was... Like, on his way to Eol, most likely. Yeah, I'm going to look over Eol, then, if I can. Yeah. So, if I, like, zoom out and then, like, head in that direction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, you start to see... Uh, as you walk towards one way, you do start to see, like, the rivers and mountains and then the plains and then the lake. Nice. And then you do see the city of Eol. And it, see it doesn't seem like it's been attacked or anything like that yet. Okay. It seems pretty much the same way that you left it long, uh, whenever you left there since. Damn. And you're able to recognize all the spots in the city. You see where you used to live. You see your parents, where your parents live. Or are both of your parents alive? Yeah. I know your mother is. Yeah. Your father is too? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. Okay, yeah, you see both their, their house, your grandparents' house, if they're still alive. I'm not sure if they are. Uh, you see pretty much everything in the city. Damn. I forgot about my family. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I died and became a revenant. Damn. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to zoom in into my parents' house and see what's up. Okay. Uh, so you're not a able to actually zoom into the house itself, but you yeah. see the house from above. Nice, yeah. And at this moment, you actually see your mother is tending to the garden outside. Damn. Love and that garden. And you see that the garden is full of vegetable life. And like you see that the there, pretty much anything that would be growing there is big and luscious and seems ready to be picked. Good Damn. harvest. Miss substance. I'm showing it to your friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. All right. That's enough of that because that will make me sad. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom out. <laughs> uh, I want to like look northeast of Eol and see if I can see spot like Artemis anywhere or like any sort of soldiers or anything okay. in the in the forest. Uh, yeah, so you do kind of comb the forest, and you do see an encampment. Mm. Uh, it seems to be partially between Chun and Arist, and it seems to be an encampus, encampment of what you can see as around 100, maybe 150 Shardana. It's nothing. Oh no. I gotta... <laughs> Uh, I have to warn everyone, but I can't. Uh, uh, um, is there? There's something I can do. Um, you're evil. <laughs> no. Uh, I, I guess I just. Staring, upset. I well, can do nothing. I, I'm gonna watch over that Where are they? that group. Uh, between Chun and Ars, there's like an encampment. Yeah. Uh, you do see that it seems like they're pr starting to prepare to march further. So they're like probably around here. Right yeah. Now. You'd assume that they're marching towards a wrist. Yeah. And it's about a day, maybe two days march. Okay, but the real question is, do I also see Artemis? That bloke. You do not, not see Armus with them. He's probably <clears throat> hiding because he's afraid. He might be in the Underdark too. I don't think I can look there. Or the depths are not the Underdark. Yeah. I don't think I can look there. Nope. Maybe if I zoom in far enough, it'll just... <laughs> um... You do know that Armus was on the ships before. Like be oh. when they attacked Avranches. Yeah, that's right. I thought before when I felt him, I thought he was near Chun or something. Uh, that's the last place you didn't feel him. Oh, okay. So maybe he's back on the ship set. 
stupid head. Um. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can do. I guess I'll just watch over them, see what's going on. Okay. You do notice that there seems to be a leader. Uh, he seems to be larger than the others and more blue tinged than the rest. And l- l- seems a lot stronger too. I'll get him too. <laughs> <laughs> He's on my list. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you just notice that they're starting to make their way yeah. forward. They don't seem to be riding any horses or anything like that, just marching. I'll go back to you guys. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to buy some lockpicks as well. Okay. Right I'm going to make a quick pit stop at the Nameless Art Store and okay. sell the gems there. Okay. I'm sure I can get a good price yeah. there. Right? They were worth 700 That's what you, I wrote it down as 700 Yeah. yeah. yeah so, yeah. can I try and maybe up a little bit? Can I try? You, you I'm not going to press try. Anything, yeah. So. Just a water roll. Yeah. Uh, so the lady at the counter says, Welcome. Uh, oh, hello, hello. Welcome to Ite's art store. Are I you looking noticed... to purchase? No, I'm looking to sell. I noticed you don't have... You guys doing some remodeling? You don't have like a sign up or anything? Uh, our name is... To... It signifies that we're not just one kind of art or one... One type of feeling. It's for any kind of art. That it's takes... not just paintings, not just statues. It's anything. I, uh, I, I wipe a tear from my eye, and I'll uh, I'll pull out a gold spoon and like is this art. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is art, man. Were you listening to what she said? Uh, it could be considered as art. The, uh. Well, then consider me an artist, because I have a lot of art to sell here. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, are you at all interested in buying here as well? Ah, uh, we don't really have a place to put art at the moment. It's of more of like... We have an abundance that we would like to get rid of. Okay. Well, that stuff we should probably... Okay, fine. We still have the paintings. Uh, I have a bunch of uncut gems. And rubies and sapphires and everything that I would like to sell. Okay, um... I'm putting a placement at about 800. Do you think that's fair? Mind if I see them? Uh, I help yourself. I slam it down the sack okay. and I open it up. Slam it down. Yeah, well, just like a... <laughs> uh, she'll look at them and she'll say... How do you feel about 500? No <laughs> calling you! I can absolutely... Guarantee you that they're at least worth 750. 600, and you've got yourself a deal. How about we go even and go 700? You're getting haggled. <laughs> I'm not selling them unless you give me what I want. Let's go with 650. She's really I bad. won't go any lower than 700. You do realize that I have to sell these two then? I know, and I'm. Or I'm have to, sh- like, barter with them for I'm, other people. I understand completely, but I assure you these are at least worth 700 and I won't go lower. You don't seem more than that to me. Well, you clearly don't know what you're looking at. <laughs> I lean over to Blaze and I go, I didn't get a roll, damn it. Just say the word and I'll charm her. <laughs> <laughs> That's an excellent idea. <laughs> I've got a good yeah, This bitch is trying to swindle me. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. I will, uh... I will like put my shoulder. I was gonna roll persuasion game. You did this. You did this. <laughs> yeah, I was putting my shoulder right on the table. So, um, how are you on such a lovely shop day? Great. We just sold a few paintings about an hour earlier. You got beautiful artwork here, and I'm gonna like casually like touch her forearm or whatever. Okay. And cast charm person. That's a wisdom save. Yes. Oh, I got uh, look at that. Yeah, it's a wisdom save. She's charmed. <laughs> yeah. Roll a d20. Shit. Thank you. <laughs> I'm scared. You're good. <laughs> That's a saving grace. <laughs> She's charmed. You know what? 700 seems like a great offer. 
I I, even go a little higher. I don't know about. Oh, she did try to swindle me. She tried to swindle you. <laughs> you know what? I'm playing a character. Be the character, Clayton. That'll be eight hundred. We're good friends. I think we can do seven fifty. Come now, here, look. Charm doesn't mean that. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Yeah. Can I try and roll persuasion then? Sure. Okay. Do I get advantage because she's charmed? Sure. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll take the 12 performance, or persuasion, sorry, is plus 3, so 15. 16. Ah. Uh, 750 it is! Whoa, okay. whoa, we got whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, we've haggled, uh, we've battled with words, I've lost! Oh, 750 it is! Come on, it looks like a good deal, and she grab the cash from behind the counter. <laughs> Damn it! I saw the bag over, I take 750 gold. Yeah. Listen! I consider this a win! Let the man do <laughs> okay. his work. Yeah. And at that point, I'll slam my knapsack full of cutlery on the table. <laughs> God damn it. The cutlery is art, you know. Where's my pencil? And I'll, I'll pull out a couple of pieces and be like, Praise these, there's a lot more else where it came from. Okay. Where's my pencil? Mind if I take a closer Sorry. look at these? Go ahead. No, I'll just use So she looks at them. Roll a perception check. Nine. Okay. Uh, she says, I'd love to have these actually. What do you think of 250? Hold pieces for the entire bag. That's a lot. Hmm. It takes a lot of work to melt down gold and make it into something else. It's like, I'm sure it does. Oh <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like there's a lot more worth than 250 for. I'll kind of shake my rack, uh, my sack, and be like, for a lot more than uh, what I have here. So, what are you thinking then? I feel like 300 would be more the price. I'll just go into the center, 275. You know, I was doing all the work of bringing this gold to you. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> and you're selling it to me. You need a seller. Yes. You need a buyer. And I can go across the street and sell it for 300 to someone else. I don't think you could. I'll start putting it into my bag and... <laughs> He'll just smile. Okay. Gage is pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to roll a persuasion gauge. <laughs> and then you low me through 500, 500 nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> you too. Are you walking out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> She'll be like, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Three, 300 breaks with me. That wasn't so hard. That wasn't. So hard. <laughs> and I'll, I'll dump it out for her. Okay. And she'll give you 300 gold. Even more pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> Damn, I'm not even, not even here to get any fucking loot. <laughs> any money? I was the one well, who wanted to sell cool the paper. Well, you're getting a cool shirt, lady. Yes. Angel. That's true. Yeah, I died. You consider us the least friendly acquaintance. At least, fine. yeah. yeah. Uh, I get a good what, vibe yeah. from you. I do. I leave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be part of what happens next. I leave. <laughs> I'm intrigued at what as to what eats. What do you have in the back? <laughs> All the pieces you see up right now are our best pieces. Well, what do you have in the back? The back is the stuff we put up after this stuff is sold. Unless we find something better. Could, I would like to see some of those pieces. Of course. Perhaps. She, she, she lead you through the back. Well, no, no, no. Hold on here. I don't... This is your establishment. I'm fine right here. Okay. Would you be all right just going to the back and grabbing those pieces? Sure. Bring them out here. You got a nice display table. I want to see them all laid out. Sure. And she'll ta- uh, go to the back, take a bunch of the paintings from the back. While she's going to the back, I want to take the paintings that she didn't take that Clayton gave her. Wait, what? I didn't give her paintings. Wait, I gave her gemstones. You? Yeah, gemstones. Did she take them with her? With her? Yeah. She did? Yeah. Oh, she's no, got she needs to take anyway. them to the back anyway. Fine. I'll wait. <laughs> that was okay. smart, though. That was smart, <laughs> <Yeah>. though. <laughs> uh, she brings out about ten different paintings. They're all of different uh, visuals and 
there are three of them that are the exact same artist, and then the rest are all miscellaneous artists. I know what none of this means. I'm going to go now. You have a lovely day. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you too. Is it just art that she's selling in this store? Uh, mostly art, but uh, if, they, if they find some stuff that's like artifacts or other antiquities, they do sell those too. But does she have anything set out that looks... Breakable? Appealing to an adventurer, <laughs> like gear. Yeah, anything. Uh, no, like you mostly just see a few vases or vases on display, or a few statues as well, yeah, and stuff okay. like that. Yeah, I just yeah. went through the gyms. So. Yeah, uh, I turn to Fair and I say, "That was that was smart. Good call." You went there. What do you mean? I'm standing outside. You guys went outside, didn't you? Yeah, I went outside. Yeah, so, so I'm gonna turn to Fair and I'll be like, "That was smart. Doing the charm person." Ah. Uh, Normally, I wouldn't do that, but she lowballed the fuck out of me, so I don't really feel bad about it. But let's try not do that every time. Okay? Wait, what do you do? Oh, well, you didn't notice? I probably okay. wouldn't have. Oh, <laughs> I don't think so. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. We just, well, actually, there's a reason I did. He charmed her. <clears throat> hmm. I have some tricks. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can have it. Sorry. Ah. Yeah. Uh, Listen, I need to buy some feast tools, and I want to get a tinker's kit. Um, so I'm going to make my way over to Please Don't Steal. Anyone right, well, else? you know, you're the older one. I was yeah, well, does anyone want to come with? you guys need anything? I need some uh, feast tools as well. All right, for well. some uh, <coughs> personal matters. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds... <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, well, let's make a quick pit stop at Please Don't Steal. Pick up some stuff. I don't steal. Well, do you want to go somewhere else while well, we go there, or do you just want to come with me? No, I'll come with you. I got nothing to do. Listen, originally I wanted us to head straight to... Oh, I, I'm going to... That's the list of all the places, too. Originally, right under. I wanted to head straight to the wizard, but now we have to wait for uh, Buddy to wake up. All right, where? so you're going to go to a store? Yeah, I'm going to go pick up I some thieves tools. All right. What are the to... odds that the Please Don't Steal place, you have to be an adult to enter? <laughs> <laughs> the mind is allowed. Always um, covered. Well... Okay, you go do that. I'll meet up with you really quick. I just gotta go do a thing first. What are you doing? I'm, I'm going back to the house. Why? Yeah, I you know that's kind of suspicious. Uh, I don't really want you to go there alone. Well, I need some books. They have some literature books there. I want some. Can I insight check that? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Negative, Captain. Ooh, that's good. Uh, fifteen plus two seventeen. I got a nineteen. Are you lying? Do I do anything? Are you lying? Yes. <laughs> yeah, then roll a uh, deception. deception check. Oh, easy. Beat a 19. Freaking. Yeah, beat a 17 or a 19, bitch. Okay. All right. Okay. Rolls okay. a fucking 20. Oh. 22. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that seems fine. You know, yeah, I can't see his face. He seems to be telling the truth. <laughs> Anyway, right. I, look, I have these two right here as I pull out the other two books that I already grabbed out. I just need some more. What are they about? That's just linguistics. I love linguistics. <laughs> I need to learn your speech better. That's fine. I Wait, need what? books on how to make pasta. I'll try. Right. I'm going <laughs> to... For sakes. <laughs> Forget how to make crepes. <laughs> I want to learn about every different type of pasta noodle. Yeah. Some linguist. I need some. I'm making a. Yeah, on, linguini, linguini. Linguini. Well, I know what you're doing here, buddy. Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay, that's fine. Just meet us back at the. Meet us at uh, the hungry bard. Okay, will do. Uh, I'm qu- I'm young now, so I can run fast. Okay, bye. Bye. I'm gonna skedaddle. Okay. I'm gonna go get the crown. I knew that's what you were going to grab. I knew you were going to grab that. You left it there, and then now you're going to go grab it again? I'm having confused mixed feelings. He realized there's an art store with a charmed art dealer. He's going to sell that fucking crown for a shit ton of money. (laughs) How long does a charmed person last for? Last an hour. An hour? Okay. I can do it again. You do after you dig the body back up. No, no, I pulled it out and did the weird position. Oh, down. okay. Yeah, and that's right. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, I'll go take God the crown damn. and I'll, I'll actually just put them back. You in said the you were dumb, but you were kind of smart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I make my way to Please Don't Steal. Okay. I'll follow him. Okay. Uh, Alan Rudolph, is there yes. anything else you want to look at? Honestly, I don't, I don't even know. 
Because uh, I can only really look at what's happening in Talthania. Yeah. Um, or just the entire continent you're on. See what, uh... Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, what's his name? King Ulysses? 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 Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see what he's up to. King of Avranches. Yeah. That's true. That's true. We all go check him out. He's hey. in his chest room. He's building his <laughs> chest. <laughs> so many chests. Uh, so, go- so as you pan over to Avranches, you do see a lot of... That there are actually people in Avranches again. Oh, yeah. And as you look closer, it seems to be some of the people, a lot of the people that you actually saved from the depths. That's where we did tell them to go, so. Yeah, that's true. Nice. Well, I'm glad they're doing well for themselves now. Um, yeah, can I see the castle at all? Do I see the king doing anything? Or he's probably in there. I can't see him. Uh, he would be, uh, right now it would be probably around like noon, maybe two or something. Uh, you see him actually handing out, like, food or provisions to people who are needing it in the town. Oh, okay. Cool. What a good guy. And trying to help out where he can. Uh, he's so nice. Yeah, what a true baller. We should give him the crown to Tethania. Tal- <laughs> Tal- <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Uh, well, last that I remember, Farron was the king, so... <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't think there's anything else I want to do. Um, I'm going to like look over the seas and see if I can find Artemis, maybe, yeah. or any ships. Yeah, so as you pan over the seas, you do see a huge fleet of ships. You'd guess it'd be at least a hundred different ships, and the, there are five of them leading that seem to be larger than any ship you've seen before. Well, they're the same... The huge ships are the same ones that he saw yeah. coming towards the branches. Um, I checked the out of the five. Is there a big the big is yeah. there a biggest one? I'm gonna the look biggest at that one. one. Is in the center. Yeah, yeah. You I'm gonna see, look at that one. You see a large crew of this ship. They yeah. seem to be from just what he sees. They seem to be like really good at their jobs on the ship. They're all Fardana. Oh, and. You do see uh, Artemis in the crow's nest. Um, I call him a bitch. <laughs> in hopes that he can hear me. He's staring down. Um, I hate that guy. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing I can do. Um, and you see that he has a small dragon on his shoulder. Uh, probably a pseudo dragon, actually. Oh, sick. We're boned. <laughs> What color is it? It is red. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. Hate that guy. All right. Um, and so, like, which way are they headed on in the sea? Are they just like kind of? Uh, they're heading uh west. What? Whoa. Um. Oh, <laughs> Ruggy. Uh, ah, it's like I can't do anything. I'm just <laughs> watching. Like ah. Uh, um, You're choosing to watch painful things. This is on you. That's true. I could just stare at the fucking ground and yeah. <laughs> wait for 24 hours to pass. Um, Go watch a carnival. Yeah. Yeah, you could literally <laughs> just watch whatever you want. Just just watch like a fun festival. Enjoy your de- your death time. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, there's nothing good to watch. Everything's so boring right now. <laughs> Um, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Um, There's nothing good on right now. <laughs> nothing good going on in the world. Um, I'm going to call Artemis a bitch again. But, I, <laughs> but he can't hear me, right? No. Even if I scream yeah. it. No. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Well, I'm done insulting him, I guess. Uh, I'm going to go back and look at my boys in a I, I and see okay. if I can find them and what they're doing. Also, did you guys leave... Uh, the bandits placed through the front door or window? Or did he go back from the secret entrance? I think we, we closed up the secret entrance. Yeah. So we would have gone through the front door, probably. Front door? I went through the window. Or the window works, yeah. Okay, so Ryan would be with you then. <laughs> I just, just <laughs> fucking stood around. Yeah, and, and when, like, backtracking a little bit, when he, uh, when you guys see him again, he's like, we're missing someone. 
We tell him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sure it would have been very dramatic. You would have yeah. started crying. Cause, oh, I love him so yeah. much. Uh, he'll come back when he's alive again. Uh. Hey, I'm, I'm a minor. Tell you I'm a child still. Yeah. Do you think Ryan will have extra sympathy? It's <laughs> 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 already like weirdly obsessed with you as it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> what? Oh, I'm getting that too. <laughs> uh, so I'll go to you guys then again. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I'll start with Farron actually. Okay. So you're going back through the window. Yeah. Okay. So you go through the window. You go through the secret door. You see the bodies there. You go down the ladder into the secret bunker. And you're able to get back to Aelrindel's body. Perfect. And you take the crown. I'll stain that crown and I'll put him in a shallow grave. Okay. Again, it's just silly. And I'll grab some of like, the bush and stuff and I'll throw it on top. Okay. And then I'll head back. Okay. So I, yeah. And we told you you meet us at the Hungry Bard. So. Yeah. I'll head back there. Okay. I'll go there. Are you heading to the Arch Flop first? Or are you going straight to the Hungry Bard? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to stop off at the art shop real quick. Just a okay. quick pit stop. Okay. Oh, uh, she's just... Wait. So, how long, would, how long would that take? So, I'd say probably 15 minutes from the art shop to the house. Which, maybe 5 minutes in the house. So, 35 minutes. I guess Charm Person may still be in effect. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pop that crown on my head before I walk in. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to walk in. Oh, hello. Uh, well, Welcome back. Oh, hello. You notice anything different, maybe? <laughs> I like that crown. Thank you. I'm a king. <laughs> I like, how, like, you guys are, like, our friends, quote unquote, right? And, like, A, you're 17, so it's just like, kind of, like, you're just like... A child or like a teenager and like now you come back with a crown and everything you should just she don't know that yeah oh, this is ridiculous <laughs> did some someone told you what the crown was right oh yes okay yes i know about this crown okay and it was given to me because i need to be a king <laughs> you were a prince before but now you're a king <laughs> yeah, exactly i was a lost prince it turns out <laughs> Are you looking to sell the crown? Perhaps? Oh, I don't know. I mean, being a king, you need a crown. <laughs> um, I don't know. Well, how much would you give it to me for? It is, after all, the first crown. So. <laughs> yes, it, yes, you do know that, I guess. Yeah. Yes. I imagine um, it'd be worth the crown. She, she can only give you so much money because she only has so much. Yeah. It's like Skyrim. Man. <laughs> Take it all and you wait 24 hours. <laughs> What do you think of the thousand gold pieces for that crown? Ooh, I don't know. It's a little low. How was that low? That's so much. <laughs> gold pieces for this old thing? <laughs> <laughs> Probably took a thousand to make this. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the exact value of what it would be, then. <laughs> I do like how it looks, though. And how it feels. Hmm... Do you have the gold on you right now? How would you like? To, would you be able to be paid to, to be paid in gems? <laughs> She's really gonna do that? <laughs> oh my! God. Now, now, friend, are you dumb? <laughs> I'm a king. You're speaking to a king. I literally watched you buy yes, those you're right. for yes. way less. I am insulted. I'm very insulted. I should have your head chopped I am off. insulted. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a thousand uh, in the back. Bring it out. Okay. I need proof. This is very valuable. She brings out this big bag with, that's pretty heavy, actually, and pretty big, and plops it on the counter, and you see a lot of gold in it. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind me. <sighs> okay, I'm going to cast Blindness on her. She's gonna fucking call the authorities on us. Oh my. <laughs> okay. She's gonna make a con save. Ooh, she failed. That would be a 14, so. Uh, now she blind? Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take the golden run. <laughs> okay, the rage engages face right now. <laughs> As you take the money and run to the door, you try to open the door and it does not open. And you feel yourself get actually pushed back. There was some kind of force. Damn, it's just a security system. 
This is what 17 year olds get. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you're trying to steal something. You mind putting it back? You can't see me? I can't. Um, <laughs> jump through the window. <laughs> jump through the back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Gage. <laughs> I feel like this. I, I feel like I, I want to sell the crown, but at the same time, I feel like I could use it in some way in the future. <laughs> what for? It's the first crown of Tethania. Nobody with any brain power is going to actually think you're the king of fucking Tethania. Uh, <laughs> no, but I could use it for a different purpose, maybe. Maybe you get advantages on rolls. Because, I mean, like, if you tell someone that and you have a crown on your head, like, I don't know. Anyone like, can make a crown. It might help. But it. It won't help shit. With authentic crown. That is a flaw, Jump through the window. Jump through the window. Run through the back. Just get rid of the no, crown. No, she's got a security system. There's probably measures against it. All right, I will... <sighs> yeah, I'll plump the gold down. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll take the crown off. I'll put the crown down and I'll take the gold. Okay, uh, you see her just kind of, like, move her hand <laughs> onto the crown? Hold on, hold on. I can wear this off. I'll just, like, flicker in the middle of the forehead. I'll just hope that the blindness goes away. I don't know if I can actually do it. <laughs> I think you can, like, take, like, cancel blindness. I mean, I cast it. I should probably cancel it. Yeah. It doesn't specifically say that I can, because I don't think anyone... If it's concentration, then you can cancel it. But if it's not, then I feel like... Well, if it's concentration, charm person would have gone away. Yeah. Um, so no, um, I can't. <laughs> can't cancel it. Okay. No, I can't cancel it. It's... Yeah. Uh, she so feels for the crown. No such, and you see her not press something on the desk itself on her side, and then she says, "Have a nice day." Okay. Just so you know, you're gonna be blind for about an hour. No, it's a minute. Uh, well, I can make it in hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's not concentration, though. No, but I can still make it an hour because I have... Um... Extended spell. Yeah. <laughs> That's so unnecessary. <laughs> uh, well... Wait, uh, roll a d20, please. Oh, oh no, Charm person is not fucking in uh, concentration. I am fine. Okay, you're fine. Tends to be rolling one or, like, nothing, so I'm not even scared anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, you're going to be blind for about a minute. It's probably closer to the minute being up, so you're going to be able to see really soon. I'm going to go. Don't remember what I look like. Okay? Sure. <laughs> cool. We made a good deal today. Uh-oh. She's going to remember what you look like. What do you mean by how you said that? <laughs> 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 I mean, you brought a crown to me and I paid you for it. It was a good deal. Also, oh, I'm a dreamer. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, did when I, I miss something? When you blinded her, did that uncharm her? No, I thought it was uh, concentration, but charm person isn't concentration. It doesn't harm her to blind her. If I, if uh, I like mm-hmm. stab her, then the yeah. con will left. But so then, is she still charmed? Kind of. Yeah, only yeah. for a little while. Yeah. I should probably get over. Uh, well, all right. I'm going to take this goal. I'm going to go. I don't really care for this crown. Um, I could probably find a different one somewhere else. Of course. Or buy one, maybe. I do have a thousand gold now. I could buy a nicer crown. Be, be careful with that gold. There are people who might steal if they see a big bag filled with gold pieces. I'll burn them alive if they try. <laughs> be careful. Have a nice day. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna skedaddle out of there. Okay. Meet up with my buddies. Okay. Uh, you guys are going to the the. Please don't steal. Please don't steal. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna buy. <laughs> you did that. Tried. I'm gonna buy these tools and a tinker's set, which is seventy five gold pieces in total. Okay. How much are these tools? Twenty five. Yeah. And then the tinker's kit is uh, fifty. Okay. Yeah, you entered the shop, the person greets you, and you're able to buy whatever you want. Okay, can I also get a 3 dragon anti set for a gold piece? Sure. Okay, so that's 76 gold pieces. Good thing I have that fucked on a money now. That's way better than some stinky crap. Since we're buying two, uh, no. tool sets, can we get, uh, buy one and get one free? I'll give you a 10% discount. 
I'll take it. Okay, great. Thanks just, for the business. All so that's is all 23 gold instead of 25. <laughs> what does that put me at? No, I'm, I'm paying for that. You said us. I'll give you 23 gold for the thieves' skin. You'll give me 23 gold? Yeah. Okay. Wait, no, I'm not giving you my thieves' tools I bought. I'm buying one, too. Oh, I'm confused. I'm just going to give them the fucking 76 okay. gold. Okay. Yeah, enough of this... <laughs> I don't. I don't want to. I didn't. I don't want to do any more bartering. I'm good. I don't want to do any more either. I've got my card set. I got my tools. Now that I know these people have security <laughs> systems, I don't think there's anything else I need. We got a alarm for us, you know. <laughs> trying to think if there's anything else. I, ooh, can I? Do you have a signal whistle? Yep. Right. That's whistle? five copper. I'll get a signal whistle. What the hell is that? It's a break whistle. That's a whistle that I'll. We now have a way to contact each other when we're in danger. Oh. Yeah, so a rape whistle. <laughs> sure. Yeah, but we only have one. What use is that? I'll buy four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, five. Cause what else does this guy have in a shop? Uh, pretty much any kind of thieves' tools type things or stuff like that. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't think I need anything else other than thieves' tools. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's all I need. I don't think there's a... Should we get a healer's kit? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice to have, because... Yeah, I'll get a healer's kit. Send me four Mind minutes, five. Oh. Yeah, no, uh, we'll meet up at the Hungry Bard, then. Okay. Unless there's an... No, yeah, no, we're good. I, w- I thought about buying a fish fishing kit. <laughs> I don't fish. <laughs> I want to... Because you looked at those two swords, right? Was there anything... No, you didn't let me. No, I did. No, you didn't. You told me not to look at them, and then hid them from me. <laughs> no, I thought I showed them to you. No, you told me I'm not allowed to look at them. Okay. I can, <laughs> you want me to look at them? Oh. I'm going to try and find someone to appraise these swords. Okay. If you want me to, I can, but you didn't let me. That's you don't know shit. <laughs> no, you just haven't... Found me to, I can. Okay, he'll make it difficult on himself. I'm going to go to the Hungry Bard. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you'd, be able to, you'd be able to get a good appraisal from probably the blacksmith in town, or maybe even the enchantress. I'll go to the enchantress because I might want to enchant them too. Okay. Uh, so you enter this enchantress's shop, and first you don't see anyone in the shop, and then there's a small poof of smoke, and she appears in, uh, behind the counter. Greetings. What can I do? What can I help you with? I happen to acquire a new set of long swords that I'm not quite sure. If there's any magical properties about them, I'd like them appraised. Of course. You know, set them on the table. I forgot what I called them. Slight it was slight and... and... Death. Okay, uh, she kind of puts her hands over it and kind of hovers, hovers around, then picks it up, kind of looks at it. Uh, slight, she'll say, this will give you... You'll be able to use this as a sneak attack item once per day. So it gives you pretty much the rogue property of sneak attack once per day. Okay. That's fucking good. That's really good. That's cool. And death. This is the sword that's imbued with necromancy. Okay. Oh, you got Tony's sword. (laughs) (laughs) Well, all right. The sword will take in the blood of anyone it touches, and the more blood it takes, the harder it'll hit. That's or no, cool. or actually no, not harder. It'll hit. Uh, the more blood it takes in, the sharper it gets. Its edges. And will I bleed? It can take the blood from one person, you give it to another person, possibly give them diseases. <laughs> nice <laughs> match of blood types. Nice. <laughs> okay. Um. Thank you. Uh, would you like to buy my two swords? <laughs> two long swords. These two swords. Not these two swords. I have. A, I'm going to pull out my silver and my normal long sword. Is there anything special about these song swords? Uh, apart then from one being silver, nothing. No thanks. Okay, I'll try it. Might you have sh- better luck at the blacksmith or the weapons shop. 
You should have your one of your enchantments transferred onto the silver sword. Because having a silver sword in case we run into like a werewolf. Yeah, but slight and death look cooler. <laughs> Go for cosmetics. <laughs> Worthless fucking ranger. <laughs> we haven't ran into anything that needs silver yet. That's fine. Oh, okay. Next yet. This is like, a, like, <laughs> like eighty chapters. <laughs> Okay. Well, I'll I'll thank the enchantress and I'll head to the blacksmith and I'll sell my silver and normal long swords to him if he accepts. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna look it up right now. He'll buy them off to you. Uh, there's just a regular silver long sword and yeah, just, just a regular long sword. What's the cost of a regular long sword? Fifteen gold pieces. He'll offer you five for each of them. Five each. They are damaged. Yeah, I have used them quite a bit. Uh, I'll say ten for the silver and five for the normal. It'll be five each. This... They're both used well and used a long time. I agree, but this I'll one need has to do been work for the, I'll have to do work on them to actually be able to sell them. Seven for the silvered one. Sure. I'll take it. Okay. It is silvered. I don't blame that. And I'll thank him for that and head to the Hungry Bird. Where we all engage in a massive orgy. So um. everyone is uh, just yeah, about to enter the Hungry this. Bard, and that's where we leave off on this episode of A Deal with Demons. Okay. Bye! My hunger's not is a little reckless. I won't be enduring the bar. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>